Hello everybody, this is Inglorious P back with another video today, and today I wanted to talk about what am I doing. Um, I want to talk about what am I doing to make money, um, what am I doing on my side hustle when I'm not at work, when I'm you know on the weekends or in the evenings, um, usually after dinner. You know, what am I doing to kind of make money? What plays am I making? What am I buying? What am I selling? Um, and hopefully this is helpful for you guys with the eBay store. Hopefully this is helpful for you guys in any of these niches I talk about. Um, and yeah, let, let's kind of dive into it before I begin. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what y'all think below. Comment question of the day. You know, what, what are y'all doing? Are y'all even focused on flipping stuff? Are you just watching this video for fun or listening? A lot of people just listen to my videos while they work out and that kind of thing. Um, what, what are you doing? To, are you are you just collecting right now? Are you flipping a certain type of product, maybe a card or um, only doing maybe you switch genres? Maybe you're doing video games or something. Let me know below. But let's kind of dive into what I'm doing. Um, I'll I'll do the easy one first. When it comes to video games, I am not really touching video games right now. That market is kind of falling apart as far as. Uh, being able to go on like Facebook Marketplace and buy stuff. You know, during COVID, I bought a ton of stuff. I really grew my collection from it. But it just seems like a lot of people have caught on to it. Um, it's highly competitive. Um, being able to get in the door on a good deal on something is just very tough. It's just very tough. Um, and the market itself has become very money focused. Now, um, when it comes to cards, now, now majority of what I've, I do is cards um, I've really taken a step back and looked at my per hour right if you were to break it down per hour what it what am I worth um, what is my time worth making money wise and for the longest I've been doing TCG bulk think um, really mostly Yu-Gi-Oh cards um, on the bulk side of things and looking at it I found with doing math with my brother um, I'm only making a few dollars per hour doing it. Now, it was a great thing when I was in like college because I had access to other young people. I could flip stuff a little easier. Um, I didn't have to do it on TCG Player. Um, but recently, I've just noticed, you know, it was a great way to 5X, 10X my money on stuff. But bulk stuff I found is just not worth my time. Same with sports cards. Let's say you have a 25 cent box. Now, if it's an ancillary thing you have on your table, like you're setting up and you also have a bunch of random bulk stuff at home, hey, I, you know, throw that box out there and just see what happens, right? Uh, might as well make a few extra bucks from it. But in general, being the guy that sets up with bulk, if it's not for just clearing out your house, it's not worth it, okay? And that's sports cards, that's TCG. It's a great starter. Hey, if you got 10 bucks and you want to buy someone's bulk, you know, pay them three cents a card, and you're going to make your 25, 30 cents per card, you know, after fees and all that. Hey, it's a great way to start. It's a great way to get bankroll. But after a certain while, you have to graduate from that, okay? On the, on the flip side, on the opposite side of it, I don't deal with high-end cards. I don't like it. I've done it a few times. Um, and the problem is, you know, you throw it up on an auction. There's a potential that you take a bath on it. Because it doesn't get enough views that time. Um, you know, you're going to get hit with fees. If you try to sell it in person to somebody, they're going to want a percentage off. I just found high-end stuff to be a struggle. Um, just in all honesty. Um, and really, on the high end, no one wants to sell to you. You know, because they can just auction it themselves, right? Like, especially if you're talking a $10,000 card. No one's just going to give it to you for... You know, six, seven thousand, like seventy percent off. No, they're gonna want, you know, nine grand, eighty five hundred, and, and it's just tough. Um, so really, in that middle ground is where I've been very successful. Um, so stuff under about two hundred fifty dollars, really stuff under a hundred, probably in that twenty to a hundred dollar range is a sweet spot for me. I found it to be very successful. Um, when I go to card shows, that's what I'm looking at is stuff really over $10, um, you know, starting over $5, $10. Uh, 
stuff that it really, the margins start to make a lot more sense. But I also have grown enough Bangrel, right? You, you guys have been with me for up to three years now, um, at least on the card side of things. You know, I have grown from the guy that does bulk and dollar stuff to this point, right? It's taken time to get to this bankroll. Um, it's taken time to grow my eBay store to where it is. Um, and this is kind of the, the next step of my growth. But that's just where I stand right now. However, there is another part of what I'm doing that I think you guys, if you're still listening, will find interesting. And this is, you know, I... I, I kind of prolonged until five minutes into the video to talk because I wanted to reward the people that listen to this point. The thing that I'm doing right now is building sets. And not many people talk about this, and you may already know it, it may already be, oh, that's just, a, you know, I can't believe I waited this long to hear what he's doing. But what I'm doing is I am, if I, like, for example, if I buy out someone's collection or I buy out a box, there's always you know, 100 or 200 just cards from a set that are worth 5, 10 cents each. Maybe I can get them, um, put them in a 25 cent box. But they're kind of just junk, right? It's like a veteran base optic player of somebody. No one cares about them. But it's enough cards that I could almost complete the set. And so what I'm doing is taking a lot of my bulk stuff bulk Fortnite cards, bulk sports cards, and building sets. And I have all these sets going right now. And why am I doing it? Well, for example, with Fortnite, I bought a bunch of Fortnite bulk, like three, five cents a card or something like that. Okay, let's just call it five cents, right? Because I don't want someone bitching at me about, you know, well, whatever. It, let's say it's five cents a card. The Fortnite Series 1... 1 through 200, you can sell online, you can look up comps if you don't believe me, for $35 for the 200 cards, plus shipping. I'm, I'm saying, you know, forget shipping just for a second, that's $35. I paid $0.05 cents each per card, so $0.05 cents times 200, we're looking at, what is that, 20 It's about $10. $10 I'm invested into these cards. I could flip it for $35, and that's easy. That'll sell easy. I could probably get more to show. And that's just for 1 through 200. So that right there is a 3x on my gains, right? Am I going to make a living off of that? No, not necessarily. And it does take time to organize stuff, right? But what I'm saying is if I already have a lot of these bake, base optic or base prism cards, um, why not just complete the set and then I can resell the set for a lot of money? <laughs> um, 2012 prism is a great example. Right? If you ever see cheap 2012 Prism cards, that's what I'm doing. I'm just buying them up. And eventually, one day, I will have that set completed. Um, I've been able to complete the Marvel, uh, the, the 2022 Marvel Universe set, like the, the one that just came out. I have that complete now. Plus, I have most of the Palladium cards, which are a nice insert. Just picking them up cheap so that I can sell that lot all together, complete set, and, you know, hopefully make a little bit of money. And you never know. Sometimes a set catches fire, right? Uh, F1 is a set that, if you have it completed, it's worth decent money. And people just give those cards away to you. Like, the base cards, people just give away. So, that's something that I've been doing. Um, and it's fun. It's fun to complete the set. You learn the players. You learn their names. You learn where they play. Um, it makes you, you know more experience with different things um, and you can have fun with it. it it's a fun way to collect too it's not something that's so money focused uh, but that's what I'm doing on the side on top of me flipping stuff as you know my regularly uh, scheduled programming on the side I'm putting together sets and looking to sell them now some are I keep like I have complete Fortnite sets now um, that I'm keeping for myself but now all these extra ones I have three five row boxes of Fortnite cards i'm gonna put together a bunch of sets and i can just sell them um to people who don't want to necessarily put together their own right and so i'm taking that same concept to sports cards and that kind of thing um but that's what i wanted to kind of give you all today just a quick short video of what i'm doing 
Let me know below what you guys are doing. Subscribe to the channel. Help me get to 1K. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.